The opening balance is simply the summary of all of the transactions in an account before a particular date. You pick a certain date, you sum up all of the transactions that happened before it and you have the opening balance for that account. You can use the opening balance whenever you are migrating to a new accounting software or setting up a new account for which you already have a lot of transaction details and you don't want to import each and every transaction detail in QuickBooks. And if you are setting up a new bank account, then in that case also, you may just want the recent transactions and the opening balance before a certain date. Whenever you create a brand new account in QuickBooks Online, you have the option to enter the opening balance for that account as well as choose the as of date as of which the opening balance is relevant. Let's say you are creating a new checking account and you don't want all of the transactions in that account to appear in QuickBooks Online. You just want the opening balance. To do that, let's just set up a new current account in QuickBooks. You can simply go to the chart of accounts. Let me just switch over to the business view because that is what most users rely on. And in here, I can go to bookkeeping and select chart of accounts and create a new account. Because I'm creating a new checking account, the account type is going to be bank. The detail type is going to be checking and the name. I'll give it a different name. There can be a description if you want. And now you can see that there's an option to enter an opening balance and I can choose the as of date for this opening balance. So is the opening balance for the start of the year or the beginning of this month or today? Or do I want a custom opening balance date? And here I'll select the month of July as the date of opening balance and I'll enter the opening balance amount. Once I have done that, I'll click on save and close because I've entered the opening balance, which is a summary of all the previous transactions, I get the balance of this account. You can also import opening balance for an account directly in QuickBooks Online. And you have two methods here. You can either connect your bank account with QuickBooks Online and all of the transactions up to a particular date will be imported and the transactions before that will be summarized as the opening balance for that account. But to actually do that, you need to connect your bank account with QuickBooks Online. There's no other option. Another option is when you are first setting up QuickBooks Online, you can create a chart of accounts in a spreadsheet and in the information, one of the columns can be opening balance and you can input the opening balance for each of the accounts. And when you import all of this data into QuickBooks Online through the spreadsheet, the opening balance will also be recorded along with other data about the accounts in the chart of accounts. Now let us look at this crazy scenario where you have created the account recorded a few transactions in it but you forgot to enter the opening balance in the first place now what do you do because if you go in and enter a balance you won't be able to because you already have a lot of transactions in that account there is a workaround and that requires you to create a custom journal entry and i'll show you how but first i'm going to enter a transaction into the new account that we created so for that i'm going to create a sales receipt And now I already have transactions here. So what do I do to enter the opening balance? I'll post a custom journal entry. And the important thing to note here is that you need to select the as of date before the first transaction that you have recorded in this account. Think of it chronologically. You have transactions that you have summarized as opening balance, and then you have new transactions that you have recorded in that account. And you have to record the opening balance journal entry accordingly. To do this, I'm going to go to new and create a journal entry. I could have also done this with the account register, but I'm going to use the journal entry. I'm going to choose the account that I want to debit and the debit amount is 300 bucks. And on the flip side, I'm going to also credit an account. And this time I'm going to credit a income account. And I'll select save and close. Now that I have this opening balance with me now, I want to actually reconcile it. And this is going to be really important because if you create a reconciliation statement later, this transaction will show up as unreconciled. And you won't find this transaction in your bank statement because this is not actually a transaction that happened in this period. It is just a summary of all of the transactions that happened before a particular date. And to mark this entry as reconciled, you can simply go to the account register and select the entry. And in the white space, in the rounded rectangle here, you can click once and then again twice. When the R appears, it means that the entry has been reconciled and it won't show up 
when you are trying to reconcile your accounts once again and i'm going to click on yes and i have saved this transaction it has been reconciled i have the opening balance despite having recorded the transactions earlier in this account i know this topic is very complicated so drop a comment below if you have any doubts and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content on quickbooks and other accounting software